Amén. 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 You have life, you have to make decisions every day. Och vad kan man inte säga? Man måste komma med givet i tiden när jag får vara med. Let us see what the word of God says. Att vi bara kommer att dela sig och nånsin ska vara chilli på oss när vi kommer att kira. Because today I'm going to speak about decisions. Man dela sig med att kata kanske när vi vill det tiden när jag gör det. And how to avoid making wrong decisions. Abi kuhu mada bara di di bara di tiada negar nogen. Abi bara kini kuhu mada kila adalah si abi bara kia nama. Let's start reading from the book of Proverbs. Adalah si abi kita orang desa kodi yang paling dari bu. Proverbs three five to seven. Abi kita orang desa tu ni di parichi de pasi di pade si de hati di pade dah kuah. Kita orang desa tu ni. Pahasite hate. Kitopo de shetune. Pahasite hate. Proverbs 3, 5 to 7. Kitopo de shetune ni pade chede. Pahasite ni pade sita hate ni pade da kwa. These verses is good to learn them by heart. Me pade, me vachene oba khatta pade ni mate ka tiyage ni ma vedaga. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. <laughs> Amen. We need the wisdom of God. As Abi Davasha did the advice against Pratnyaavar. In order to make right decisions. Never the tira ne gani mas sadha. Two weeks ago, we started explaining how to our how our faith to grow. Sathi dekha na pratham na Abi Abi Aram ka karanu labua. Abi kese da Abi ke adhi hi labi varde ne karanu labaan ki chhe na. God wants our faith to grow every day. And we look at the example of one man. Who was that person? Two weeks ago? Abraham. Abraham. So, Abraham is our example to see how our, our faith grows. And how did his faith start growing? God called him first. And he told him, leave everything. And follow me to take you to the land that I know when you don't know. So Abraham closed his eyes and he started walking with his eyes closed. Listening to God's voice. When to turn right and when to turn left. And God said, if you obey me and do what I tell you, And when he arrived there, 
When you take a wrong decision, you try to go away from one problem. Ah, then I will tell you that 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 I will tell you And God wants us to grow in faith so to avoid the wrong decisions. Did I not answer that one? Shall I pay a deal or not? Sit to the water and take a run of water. If I get one answer that one, shall I be well at the tier and again even a pay tier? Did I be well at the city man? Because God wants the best in our life. Mark this out. One answer that one. Shall I pay tier? Did I go to the red and run of water? So Abraham, who was clever, he said, "Okay, I'll go to Egypt to be safe from the famine." Then we dash the city of Abraham. He told him, "I'm a man of my country. I'm a man of my country. I'm a man of my country. I'm a man of my country." Now, when you take a wrong decision, then you go away. You will be very tired and gone. You will be tired. The way you behave changes. Oh, my heart is in a rut. I'm a man of my country. I'm a man. And you try to live your life. Based on the wrong decision you have made. Then no way to pass the usta. That is why I am the third day. Current of what again? A third day. To the farm. To when the passu be met. To the over to na current of the jiva to the banter. And also when you take a wrong decision. The evagay mo. I am the third day. I am the third day. You don't think of other people. You just think about yourself. The over he tan che pa ani tan gan ani tan gan he tan. Don't think of other people. You think only about yourself. Oh, Bali, Thai, Gani, Hitan, Kepa, Oborbe, Gani, Vitara, Sidrula, Banche. We must understand that whatever decision we take in life. Oh, but what is the reason? That the more we think and act, what the possibility is, Ganchi, and we know it. It will affect other people. It will affect other people. It will have results on other people. Ah, ek Ani Thai ke jeevi tavane ta prati pali ap vinula baavi. Always. Have a little love for me. When I watch the news on the television, I am a rupa vani ni 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 bil ni bil dena bala rupa vani prorti bala na bilam vidi. Almost every time I hear of car accidents, mama say have a little love for me. Da kinu la bula bobo thure thare ba manala thuru. Many times people drink and then they drive. Bobo a saal e manusya na vivida matra ve paani thare na ila passe thuri na na thuru vena. So either they kill someone. Eh, do they? Eh, yam ke deko maru deko patu nula bana. Or they make someone cripple. Nanta samana eva pragati sobar deko patu nula bana. Or they kill themselves. Nanti na road mo ge jiri tani bi karu bana. Now this man that drinks. Then me bunge le apane karu nula bana. He makes a wrong decision. Then no thira ne apane thi thira ne apane thi bane. To drive after drinking. Me apane karat passe bahane padavi ma. So others. Suffer because of his wrong decision. Okay, where did he get the courage to take it? Ani taay ne to leave Kerala to leave Bangladesh ana. So in every decision you make, in others will have will see the results also. Not only you. In this time, where did he get the courage to take it? Ani taay ne to leave Kerala to leave Bangladesh ana. Okay, let's go back to Abraham. Abhi naar thi abhi Abraham ne to take. Abraham did not. As God and He went to Egypt. Then Abraham and we now they were advanced again. Oh, we said they should come and carry the bua. He said, "I will go away from the famine." Mama, they are now making sagat in pita tetra. He tried to go away from one problem. Then now we have prashne in pita tetra. Yaan tu sa dalu na. But he faced a greater problem. A greater problem. Then he the past the mood that they are now making prashne to vada mahat prashne ya. Okay, let's go to verses. Eleven and twelve. Abiyamu ekuna adola padavalete. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarah, "I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, 'This is his wife.' Then they will kill me, but will let you live." Thavale o misra deshe tatul vente lanu kala thamabare o sara ite kata kote. बालवन वसोबन पिनी में तीसरिया बाबदाने में मिसर वरुण नुबदोटो विटे मैं उनके बारे आव किया मामारा नुबे इतरु करने वाया थे। 
So when you make a wrong decision, you move away from faith and you allow fear to come. Remember God's told to Abraham, I will bless those that bless you and I will curse those that curse you. And that means God told him, I will protect you against anybody. Now Abraham came to Egypt. Then Abraham and he thinks, ah, they will kill me because my wife is beautiful. decisions bring fear and moves us away from God. So he says to his wife, these people are going to kill me. We must do something. I don't want to die. You know when we have fear, we may uh, we think many things. And we think that many things will happen to us. Many bad things. That is fear. I'm sure many of you, when you have fear, you think, about your children, you think about your family, something will happen to them. And but most of the time, nothing happens to them. It's just fear. And when we act on fear, we think and think all the bad things that possibly may happen. So here Abraham, he has fear that they will kill him. So he says, okay, let us do something. But he's acting out of fear. Now we said Abraham was clever. Like what he was thinking. So he said, let us do something so they will not kill me. Let's go to verse 13 and see what he thought. Verse 13. Say you are my sister so that I will be treated well for your sake. And my life will be spared because of you. Now Abraham thinks that if he kills me, I will die. Trusting the Lord. You don't move by faith. But you use deception. Deception. You try to deceive. You try to deceive. And you think that if you deceive others, your problem will be solved. But in reality, you are deceiving yourself because your problem will get worse. So your problem will get worse. Will get even more bad. Abraham thought, okay, 
Deception is destruction. The, the result of deception, you are destroyed. You are, you are, you are, you are, when you take a wrong decision, first you are out of fear. And second, you use deception. But also there is a third thing that you do. You only think of yourself. Abraham was not caring what would happen to his wife. He was caring what would happen to him. And he was caring what would happen to him. You see, when you make a wrong decision, saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh, and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram 
well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, men servants and maid servants and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his household because of Abraham's wife Sarah. Now, look at the results. Abraham was, okay, blessed, you can say. They didn't kill him. They gave him cows, donkeys. He became richer. Then but what happened to his wife? Now then, the They king, the king took her to his palace. Then they And he wanted to make her his wife. That is the result of a wrong decision. And praise God that God was there. So the king did not sleep with Abraham's wife. And diseases and came on the palace and on the pharaoh and on his family. And he understood something is wrong. Now, remember, God's told to Abraham, I will uh, make you a great nation. Forsake you. 
So Pharaoh summoned Abraham. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? So that I took her to be my wife. Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abraham to his men, and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. God had mercy on Abraham. And thank God for that. All of us do wrong decisions. All of us take wrong decisions. Remember, God is with you to help you to come back. A wrong decision is not the end. All of us do mistakes. All of us do take wrong decisions. God is merciful. But of course, if we have that made, taken a wrong decision, many times we have to suffer from the consequences of that wrong decision. If you make a wrong decision and you marry the wrong person, yes, you can back, you can come back to God. But you have to uh, to stay in your marriage under the new situation. Can you tell me? If you have made a wrong, a wrong decision, you can ba come back to God to restore. But there are some things you cannot change because of the wrong decision. So if you marry the wrong person, you have to live the rest of your life with the wrong person. So you go and borrow. 
So Abram went up from Egypt to the Negev with his wife and everything he had, and Lot went with him. Abram had become very wealthy in livestock and in silver and gold. From the Negev he went from place to place until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and Ai, where his tent had been earlier, and where he had first built an altar. There Abram called on the name of the Lord. Abraham, the Babari Avasa, the Masanta Kasia, the Ragana, Lord the Katu of Israel, Nigma Dakuru de Sedegia, Abraham, Silpaving in the Randridia, the Tapo Santa City Air, O Dakuru de Chavez, the Betel Dakwa, Gaman Karami, Betel Saha, Yatre, Palame, Tamagi, Kudar Mother, Tamavis in Buladi, Sadu, Puja, Sanay, the Tibuna, Stani, the Pabudine, Edi Abraham, Sami Mansi, Nami Kia, Yagna Kalea. Amen. Now, Abraham was in the place where God had called him to be. The Vyalwan Abraham, the Vyalwan Sakadavala Tibuna Kumani Stanyata, a Stani Sidon Lebua. He took the wrong decision, he went to Egypt. Oh, where is the Tirania Karagan of Mr. Deshetakia? Now, in order to come back to God, then over the Navas and the Vyalwan Sivetan Family Matawa Shelisa, the first thing he had to do was to go out of Egypt. Then over the Sidon. So he went out of Egypt. He took the right step. Either passed the no, the Mister and Peter the Rigid Nabiyan Yami never did the Rene Gandula Piva the Gandula Bua. If you make a wrong decision, it is not too late. Take the right step to go to the right direction. And it's so when the Tirane and Dr. Vidane over the Paraku Pramada there, over never did the Tirane Aragon, never the Margo of the Gamanta Rula Mancha. So Abraham started going to the right direction. Then Abraham was a cutting the Karula Bua, never did the Tirane to the Gamanta Rula Mancha. And he went to the place where he met with God, he had an encounter with God. And it's so then he had the Venance Samago cutting the Karao in Palamu Stani to the Gamanta Rula Bua. Because he understood he was out of the will of God. Mark this out of the room, got the dead note, the very ones that came at the pit of the city of Kira. So he went back to the will of God. Never the old year, the very ones that came at the pit of the turn. And there it was the altar. There is Tani, Nasuke Pujas and Etibunu Lebua. That is the place of worship. There is Tani, Namaskar is Tani. That is the place of sacrifice. Is Tani Tama Puja and then Puja Puka, then now Tani. That is the place of commitment. Ekatama Etibetama, the very one who said to them, Give us one ethical and now Tani. You see, he comes back to God now. Then all the Pulu and Nuna never to the very one who said to the feminine. And he comes to worship the Lord. Then all the family and the very one who said, and in verse 4, what does he do? He calls on the name of the Lord. Now it's the first time he's doing that from the time he left to, went to, to go to Egypt. Oh, Egypt, Egypt, Egypt to the Visra Desi, the Yana Pasura, or Panamu Vatava to be the Karunabui. In Egypt, he did not worship and he did not pray to God. Oh, Mr. Desi, to Lord Namaskar Karina, once the Yatna Karina. Wrong decisions, wrong results. Where did he do it? Where did he put it? Coming back to God. Never to the Venomans with the family. He understands the needs. 
to be close to the Lord again. And he starts praying again. Amen. And his relationship with the Lord is restored. Now. It's a new beginning. Then that is the result of repentance. The word repentance means you change direction and you go back to God. And so Abraham left from Egypt and went back to the land that God had promised. Abraham now, if you are living in a situation that you are there because of wrong decisions, you can repent and turn back to God. How do you know if you are living on wrong decisions? Let us see what we have learned. You live on fear and not on trusting God. It's because of a wrong decision. You use deception to deceive people instead of saying the truth and trusting the Lord. You use deception. Instead of saying the truth and trusting the Lord. That's because of a wrong decision. Another thing, you think only about yourself and you don't think of others around you. That is because of wrong decisions. And you are not a blessing to others, but you are a curse to others. Again, because of wrong decisions. So, if you are living under a wrong decision today, it is not too late. God is merciful to you. Change direction and come back. That is repent. And come to the Lord yeah, to worship Him and come have close fellowship with Him. And God will give you a new beginning. And you will continue to live and walk by faith. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Stand up, please. I want you just to close your eyes and examine your life. If we are doing something wrong, if we have taken wrong decisions, if we are at the wrong place, that is not the end. You can come back to the Lord. So don't feel condemned. But the first thing to do is to recognize where you stand today. Maker. 
Close your eyes and see your life. And then ask yourself. And then ask yourself. Am I living on fear? Or am I trusting the Lord a hundred percent? Am I using the truth or am I using deception? Do I think only of myself? Or do I consider and respect and help others? Am I a blessing to others? Or am I a curse and they want to go away from me? If any answer to this question is yes, that means somewhere you have taken some wrong decisions. God is waiting for you. Like the father of the prodigal son. With his arms open. To change direction and come back to him. Restore your relationship with him. He is waiting for you. You say, Lord, forgive me. I turn back. I did mistake. I did not consider you. I used my head and I did not ask you. Help me to make a new start. Just remain standing and you pray something like this to the Lord quietly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are patient with us. You are merciful with us. 
Thank you that you have a purpose and a plan for all that. Help us to understand and remain faithful to you. And walk in faith. So as you are meant to be glorified in our life.